But often missing from the debate about comprehensive immigration reform is a remarkable and positive impact it will have on our economy, both nationally and here in Washington. Providing a path to citizenship for undocumented immigrants living in Washington State will boost our economy, listen to this, by a cumulative $832 billion in the next 10 years. Wow. Immigration reform will create jobs, increase the earnings spent in our communities, and increase the tax revenues for state and local governments. Immigration reform is not just the right thing to do for our country, it is a smart thing to do for our economy here in Washington. Today, we are releasing a report with estimates from the Center for American Progress in Washington, D.C. that quantify the economic benefits our, uh, to our state if the Senate passed immigration reform bill were to be enacted. The economic benefits matter to agriculture, to small business, and to our towns and our state government. I'll mention just a few of the findings this report has. Washington State alone would experience a $21.3 billion cumulative increase in its economic output for over, the ten, over 10 years. The cumulative earnings of all Washington residents would increase by $12.5 billion. Talking about a lot of money here. Immigrants in Washington alone would earn $10.4 billion more over the next decade. This would mean an additional $1.3 billion paid in state and local taxes. I don't have to tell any of you how this additional revenue would help fund our schools, our health care, our infrastructure, our law enforcement, and all the other services that our state and local government provides us. Immigration reform would add 3,038 jobs to the state of Washington. And a recent study from Harvard Medical School found that immigrants added a net of $115.2 billion to the Medicare system from 2002 to 2009. By contrast, U.S. born citizens cost the system $30.9 billion in that same period. We should not wait any longer to harness the power of 11 million undo undocumented immigrants. The, the congressional representatives or U.S. senators uh, really have their ear to the ground in, in their, their own districts and their own state. And uh, they hear quite a bit from people who, uh, in my opinion, are fearful uh, of change and or don't recognize what change has already occurred. And um, they hear a lot from people who are opposed to doing anything. Uh, people who are uh, xenophobic or want to uh, just uh, uh, think about uh, the, the law and order issues alone. Um, so they hear from those people all the time. I think there is a, a majority of people in this state and in this country who want to see uh, people treated fairly and want to see an acknowledgement of the fact that there are people who have helped make our economy run and who are good neighbors and good people uh, who are not going to self-deport and are not going to be deported by our government 